Facebook is an amazing phenomenon, initially designed to connect the students of the University of Harvard, it's today connecting 1 billion people. Basically, one person out of seven has a Facebook account. The success of Facebook can be easily explained by two aspects of the human being. We are all lazy and social. So we are social in the sense that we need attention and we are curious about what others are doing. And we are lazy in the sense that if we can do something without moving from our sofa, then we'll do it. And that's precisely what Facebook brings to many of us. The ability to socialize while staying on our sofa. So what does it mean to socialize in the sense of Facebook? Every user has two things, basically. A wall and a news feed. The wall is used to write stories, notes, put pictures, videos, etc. And a newsfeed is the place where the user sees what other stories, what stories other users have written. So a story written by user U here might appear in the newsfeed of user U prime. I say might appear because not all the stories actually are propagated to the news feeds of other users. Facebook filters those stories. It seeks to only propagate those that are considered interesting for the other users. In fact, a story here written by user U might be propagated to user U prime and not to another user. The algorithm that does that is actually simple and powerful. It is in its simple form called age rank and I will explain now what age rank does. Roughly, it takes the set of stories that could be displayed on the newsfeed of a user and extracts from them a selection. On average, only 10% of the stories that are eligible to a user are displayed for that user. So edge rank eliminates, on average, 90% of the stories. And it's easy to understand why it's important to eliminate many stories. On average, every user has 300 friends. So if, user, if a user you connect in the evening and if you has 300 friends and each of them posted 30 stories during the day to 9,000 stories that could in principle be seen by you. So edge rank will basically eliminate most of them and rank them in a way that only those that are considered interesting to you and will make him happy and faithful to Facebook will appear. What age rank does is to associate scores to stories. So assume a user U who publishes a story S and the user U prime who publishes a story S prime. Age rank would determine the score of S and S prime and select the one with the highest score, roughly speaking, to appear in the news feed of V. It is important here to notice that the score is a relative notion. If we are asking what stories will appear on the newsfeed of V, we seek to determine the score relatively to V of the story S. And this is a story created by a user U. So the creator of the story and the one for whom we decide we determine the score are very important. So the score of S is determined as follows. And I will describe that in two steps. The first thing to understand is a product of three values. A, W, and F. A for affinity. So remember that we seek to determine the score of S relatively to a user V. And this S was created by U. The affinity conveys the degree to which V is a fan of U. And if V has been liking, sharing, commenting the messages of U, then A will be bigger. So the more V was interested in the past to what U has done, the more A would be bigger. W stands for weight. Roughly speaking, the weight of this story reflects the time that has been that was taken to build this story. A video will have a bigger weight than a picture, which will have a bigger weight than a note, which will have a bigger weight than a simple smiley or a simple comment written. The last element is the freshness. Basically, this is one over the age of the story. So if a story has been posted yesterday, it will have a lower F freshness than a, a story posted this morning. So this was 
step one of the explanation of the notion of score. It is also important to notice that score, the score of a story changes. First, it changes because freshness changes, but also because a user might later on after the story has been posted by you, a user you prime may, for instance, comment on that story or add a picture to it, whatever. And this will have an impact on the score. In fact, a comment is called an edge. The creation of the story is also called an edge. And the score of a story is the sum of these products for every edge. We have been talking about initially was the score of the creation edge. Now, if somebody here, U prime, comment on S and creates another edge, E2, then we will add to the original score a new score, which will now be the affinity to V towards U prime, because the new edge now we are considering is U prime how much V is fan of U prime. So if U prime comments on something uh, that U has posted and V is a fan of U prime, the affinity of this new age will be bigger. Again, we will also compute the weight of this comment. If this comment includes, for example, a picture or a video, this will have a high weight and the freshness of this comment. And the total score of S after U prime has posted this uh, comment will be the sum of the score of the creation plus the score of this new uh, edge here. And at any point in time, the score is the sum of all edges for the story, original story S. Let me give an example. So assume, for instance, a user U who posts a picture P, and then a user U prime who posts a video V. And we seek to determine which one should appear on the news feed of a user W, assuming here that U, U prime, and W are all friends. To determine the score, assume, assume for simplicity that the affinity, the weight, and the freshness have values 1, 2, 3. So we might compute the score of the picture P, again, with respect to user W, as follows. So assume W is a friend of U, as pointed out, not a big fan, but a fan. So the score could be something like 2, the affinity is 2, the weight of the picture is 2, and the freshness initially is maximum. So this is the score of P for user W. Now, computes the score of V again for user W. Assume again that W is a friend of U prime, a fan, but not a big fan. So the affinity could be 2. Now the weight is bigger because we're talking about a video and the freshness is maximum. So this would lead to 18, and if Facebook has to choose which one to display on the newsfeed of V, it will choose, of W, it will choose V. Now assume later on that U prime comment on this picture, for example, by adding another picture to it. So now the score will change. First, the original score, or the score of the original creation edge will be smaller. For example, will be two times two, times 2. But we will add to this one the score of the new edge, this new picture, let's call it P prime, that was added as a comment on P. And this could, for example, be 2, because we are considering that W is a fan of U prime, not a big fan, but a fan, times the weight of this picture that was added here, times the freshness. The new score is 20. And the score of V was downgraded from 18 to 12, because time has passed. So now Facebook will put this picture P instead of V. So for instance, if W just connects, W will see P. If W was connected earlier, it would have seen V, but now it would see P. That explains why sometimes you see a post that was posted a long time ago. As pointed out earlier, the formula that Facebook uses to rank edges is based on this very notion of a sum. It changes all the time. It has, it has some randomization in it to uh, make sure uh, that there is novelty on the freshness. But at the heart of the way Facebook filters stories, there is this computation of a score. And this explains, for instance, that if you want to post something and make sure that what you post is successful or seen by a lot of people, well, you rather make sure you have a lot of fans people who follow what you have been doing. For example, by writing a bunch of jokes, you make sure you have a lot of fans. So if you have, to, you have, if you have something serious to say, then you can add that right after the joke. If you put a video, your post will have a higher score and it's likely to be seen. If you ask a question, 
This means people might react and might comment, and this will make your post uh, stand longer because the freshness will uh, make it stay alive.